Installation. Before installation, we need to learn about the grounding hole, mounting hole, and drainage hole of the module. Common methods for installing Astrona GPV modules include bolt installation and clamp installation. For bolt installation, find out the mounting hole on the frame. Use the bolt to fix the module to the PV bracket. Place the washer over the bolt. Insert the bolt from the inside of the module successively through the mounting hole on the frame, the bracket, a washer, and a spring washer in turn. Finally, tighten it securely by a nut. The recommended tightening torque for M6 bolts is 9 to 12 newton meter, while the recommended tightening torque for M8 bolts is 17 to 23 newton meter. For clamp installation, the outermost module shall be installed by clamps. Place washer on hexagon socket bolt. Insert the bolt successively through the fringe clamp, the bracket, a washer, and a spring washer in turn. And finally, lock it with a nut. After all the fringe clamps are fixed, place the second module. When the module position is properly adjusted, fix adjacent two modules simultaneously with the middle clamp. The middle clamps shall be installed in the same way with the fringe clamps. Insert the hexagon socket bolt successively through the clamp, the bracket, a washer, and a spring washer in turn. Finally, tighten it securely by nut. Electrical and grounding connection. After the installation, before electrical connection of modules, it is necessary to ensure the consistency of electrical parameters. During connecting installation, connect the positive and negative anode connectors in turn and confirm that you hear a click. It means that the connection is successful. During the installation, the connector must be kept dry and clean. Make sure it stays in good working condition. Do not insert any other metal objects into the connector or operate the electrical connection by any other means. The connection needs to be carried out in dry morning or evening when the UV rays are weak to prevent currency. After the connection, fix the cable on the C side frame or rack side with a UV resistant nylon ties to prevent the connector from falling off or exposure to sunshine. If the cable is too long, the bending radius of the cable should not less than 48 millimeters. During grounding connection, please use the grounding hole with grounding mark on the frame. For connecting, the grounding device must be fully contact the internal aluminum alloy and must penetrate through the oxidation film on the surface to ensure the continuity of grounding. Cleaning and maintenance. PV module cleaning work should be done when the UV rays are weak. To clean dust, use more feather dusters, brushes, etc. To remove tight attachments, it can use tools such as plastic scraper, etc. When flushing the modules, the water pressure at the nozzle must not exceed 3 megapascals. The distance between the nozzle and the module should be at least 0.5 meters. And the pH value of the water shall be within pH 6 to pH 8. When cleaning the PV modules, please do not take any action that could damage them, such as stepping on. Do not touch or operate any PV module with broken glass, fallen frame, or damaged back sheet, as well as damp connector in case of electric shock. All above is the full guidance of installing the modules. If you have any questions, please visit Astronogy's official website. Astronogy, for a greener world.